you know in Nigeria most of us we are actually afraid of a sin having the mindset of they want to uh, decrease the number of population in Nigeria so there are some kind of vaccines you are meant to do like a um, uh, cervical cancer vaccine HIV vaccine very very important and very vital for human living we see somebody in the morning a bar afternoon ever night ever it's not healthy day to day no sleep at least as a human being you're meant to sleep like six to eight hours every day it's another beautiful and sunny day in the inside show today we'll be talking about the importance of checkup and scanning here in Nigeria, many of us don't see it necessary. I'm your host, Juliet Ayehe. Here with me today, I'll be talking to a very intelligent, wonderful person from Peter's University. She is an outstanding student, a nurse in the making, and a very wonderful person. Before we continue, let's meet our guest. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you have here Vivian Chimoke from Peter's University. I'm actually a 200 level student from nursing department. So we are here to talk on the importance of regular checkups, screening, and as a health practitioner, I'm all to tell people, teach people, tell them the needs to go for regular checkups and screening. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. So a few years back, I had a situation where I heard the story of a woman who was pregnant. Now she never thought twice to go to the hospital or do a checkup, check up on her baby. And she had this child in the house. She didn't go to the hospital to check if the baby was fine. And then suddenly we heard that the baby was sick. Interestingly enough, the child now is six years old and suffers from Down syndrome. So I want to know what are the importance of checkup and scanning for Nigerians? Here in Nigeria. We do neglect checkups and screening, which are very, very vital and important in every human life. As a health practitioner, I can give you many reasons and importance of going for checkups. One of them it helps in early detection. Like a pregnant woman not going for antenatals, at times when you get to the hospital, you do your scanning, you do your ultrasound. It will actually help to detect when we have there's what they call ectopregnancy when the baby is forming outside the womb. It's true the scanning that the doctor will detect that the baby is actually maturing outside the womb. At times the baby the baby rolls itself with the placenta, which is not good for the baby. So it's the doctor that will detect it through the scan to see how the baby is in the womb. And to know whether the position of the baby whether is right or not. So it helps in any detection. It helps you to detect like someone that is having high blood pressure. Can go, wouldn't know he or she is having high blood pressure. But when you are having the symptoms, you won't know because you're not into health. But when you're going for regular checkups, when you get to the hospital, the doctor will actually tell you you're having high BP. That's why you're having all these symptoms. So I think another important is prevention of complications. When you go to the, let's, we'll continue using a pregnant woman as an example. When a pregnant woman goes to the hospital, it to help to prevent complications. You understand? How do you mean the baby is not in a good position or the mom, the mom herself is having issues? The doctor will be able to detect it on time and do some preventive measures and carry some from, uh, preventive measures to help her to prevent the complications. Because you, you might not know you have an ectopregnancy pregnancy because you are not going for checkup. You know, antenatal, no drugs to maintain as in as a a, a mother, you understand? So when you get to the hospital, the doctor will be able to detect and prevent the complications because ectopregnancy is very bad. When you don't detect it on time, when nothing is being carried out on time, it can actually cause a lot even to the mom and to the baby and to the fetus because we don't call it a baby. Why in the womb? We call it a fetus in question. So Thank that's you. it. Thank you for correcting us. You yeah. heard that. Yeah. It's called a fetus, not a baby. Thank you so much for this wonderful reply. So I wanted to know, and I think we would like to know, does checkup also help in dictating sicknesses like diabetes, blood pressure, hypertension, cancer, 
and so on and so forth can it be dictated early if if a person goes for regular checkup yeah okay all these all these chronic diseases you mentioned can actually be detected through checkups because let me use cholesterol as an example or rather let me use cancer assuming i'm having a cancer of the breast and cancer of the breast can be detected by the person it's him or herself you understand especially for women like you have to massage your breast to notice if there is lump but had it been you have been going on a regular checkups would have maybe you have noticing one or two things on your body i'll be like telling your doctor i've been seeing this kind of symptoms i've been noticing this sign doctor will now be able to run a proper test on you so going maybe it's still minor it's still at its early stage and can be handled easily if you're going on a regular checkup your doctor will be able to know that this work is seen you understand maybe you came this month you found out that you are having severe headache you came this month you are complaining of pains in your breast the next month you came and be like i have a sore on my breast definitely it's breast cancer so going for regular checkups he's putting down the things you have been complaining of what he has been observing and definitely he will detect it coming to cholesterol cholesterol is actually caused by much accumulation of lipids lipids is fats so it's caused by more fats a lot of things can cause cholesterol so but cholesterol by going for checkups maybe using your blood they can detect you have high level of high level of a uh, cholesterol you understand so regular checkups is very very important especially for uh, if not nobody is accepted everybody is needed everybody needs to go for regular checkups no monitor yourself too. it's not about going to the hospital monitor yourself know the changes you are having in your body no maybe this month i'm feeling somehow where you understand so you need to monitor yourself too and go for checkups so that's it oh. you heard it regular checkup is very very important if you notice something in your body please see a doctor don't assume thank you so much i also want to know few years back there was the history of covid all over the world yeah. and the government provided vaccines for people to be vaccinated and many people rejected due to so many beliefs religious beliefs superstitious beliefs so people felt it was the end of the world and should not be vaccinated so i wanted to know and here in nigeria people still there are some states where people still say no to immunization how important is it for someone to be immunized or even take vaccine? Are they necessary? Are they important? Can they save life? All right. So we'll come to immunize. Let me start with immunization. Immunization is developing immunity in a person. It helps to de develop immunity in a person. So immunization is usually given to babies at an early stage. Why it is usually given to babies? It helps to start from when their body is still forming. When their bones is not, like when a baby is newly born, they have 270 to 300 bones. With time, as you are now, you have only 206 Just bones in your body. So when a baby is developing, you understand? A baby is growing, changes are occurring, you understand? So that's why they are being given the immunization at a very early stage. So, as their body is developing, those immunization will help their body. As they give, it will help to develop more immunity in them to fight diseases, to protect them from anything. You understand? They give immunization for meningitis, a lot of things. You understand? It helps to protect them at a very minor stage. Then coming to vaccine. You know, in Nigeria, most of us, we are actually afraid of vaccine, having the mindset of they want to a decrease the number of population in nigeria so even me as a nurse there are some kind of vaccine that i would not admit to take you understand so it's just all about knowing what is right for a doctor to actually tell you he wants to administer you a vaccine he has actually gone through a lot of tests he has actually gone through a lot of offices everything you understand so for him to just tell a patient this vaccine is good for you is good for your family is good for your life the doctor himself knows the worth of it. He's just trying to help you. But you know, we Nigerians, we have the mindset that our population wants to be decreased. And that's why many people, during COVID-19, many people were actually afraid to take COVID-19 immunization. Sorry, vaccine. Even up to dates. 
like me, I've not taken, and I know you here as well, I've not taken the vaccine. No, but everybody's scared. Everybody's scared of their lives. But vaccine is actually very, very important. You take your H- HIV vaccine, your I mean, a lot of vaccines around, you understand? You have to take it. Vaccine helps to protect you. Vaccine helps to protect you against anything. Like, I can take COVID-19 vaccine. It's not just protecting me from COVID-19. There are other things in that vaccine that can help fight other diseases you don't know. Because as I am now, now, my hands are very dirty. You're looking at it, it's very neat. But when you put your hands under the microscope, you're seeing a lot of things. Your nails, a lot of things. So when you, when you're not just seeing it, you cannot see it from with your eyes. It's an organism, so you can never see it. But they themselves, as scientists, they know what they have gone through to bring out that vaccine. So, but the main thing in Nigeria is that we are afraid that they want to eliminate us. They want to eliminate, decrease the number. So that's actually. But I encourage everybody that some kind of vaccines you are meant to do like um a cervical cancer vaccine hiv vaccine very very important and very vital for human living thank you you've heard that from the years it is important to take most vaccine but before you do so please ask your doctor and confirm exactly. so you don't take anything that is harmful my my last question okay how will you advise in nigeria to live a healthy lifestyle a lifestyle that is healthy, health-wise, food, you know, generally. All right, so start with healthy diets. Because we Nigerians, we don't eat healthy food. That's number one. You see somebody in the morning, eba. Afternoon, eba. Night, eba. It's not healthy. You have to vary your food. I know the country is very, very hard. But you have to vary your food. At least in the morning. And in the morning, you're made to take light things. So that you'll be free for the day. But when you start coming in the morning, it's not like taking a bath in the morning is bad. It's not bad. It depends on the kind of job you are doing. It depends on your occupation or anything. But it's very, very important. Healthy diets. You need to eat well. Vary, eat more of vitamins. Eat more of proteins. Anything that you're rich. At least we are We are in the East. We are Igbos. We farm. You have your corn. Eat your corn. You can combine your corn, beans and corn, anything. Eat more of vegetables, very important. Then keep hydrated. Hydration. Because dehydration can cause a lot of things. And the funny part of it is that when you are dehydrated, you wouldn't know. You just be sweating like you notice that when you are dehydrated, you just be feeling somehow you'll be like, I don't know what's wrong with me. But once you drink water, you see the kind of sweats that you'll be like, ah, you are somehow relieved. We need to keep hydrated. And when you're taking water, please make sure the water is good. If it's borehole, make sure it's treated. If you are taking sachet water, which is not too advisable, because you don't know the sachets made of chemicals and all that. So we have to keep hydrated. One, good sleep. We Nigerians, we walk year to year, day to day, no sleep. At least as a human being, you're meant to sleep like six, eight hours every day. You're meant to sleep like six, eight hours every day. Then the next one is good exercise. Understand some of us, it's not everything all about car. You can be like, I want to go here. Trek trekking is a very good exercise. We're having car, but it's not helping us, it's killing us because at the old age, you will not be able to walk again. You cannot even climb, you're just one stony building. You cannot. So, we need to exercise your body, do one or two things, try to walk. Trekking is a very good exercise. If you're good in swimming, swimming is a very good exercise, especially for people like us that are big because we can easily float in water. Big people can float in water more than someone that is lean. You understand? <laughs> so you guys to do exercise in the morning. It's not much you'll be jogging. You can just take a walk. You can take a just long walk. Try to stretch your hand, your legs, and learn how to sit. When you're sitting, you sit upright. But some people, every minute of the day, relaxing. It's not good for our health. When you're working on your system, you must sit at 90 degrees angle very important when you are reading students like us we lie down to read very very bad when i mean super bad if you want to read get up from your bed that's why you have reading table you sit on your table you jot things up away you sleep and the funny part of it you see yourself dozing off while reading so we need to a lot of things to do to keep ourselves healthy so i think we did we are good you've heard it from the 
no excessive shawarma eating because it's not <laughs> healthy. Check your diet, check yourself, be careful of what you eat. So you eat so you live a healthy lifestyle. What you eat is who you are. Remember to always exercise yourself. Trekking can be a form of exercise. Stop lying down on your bed to read, please. Sit up and read just so you live healthy for us. Thank you so much on this today's episode. I hope to meet you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and tell a friend to tell a friend to post this video. You might be saving life. One more thing. Please tell me what topic would you like for me to discuss next. Please put it on the comment section. I will be waiting. Thank you. Thank you.